Welcome to my YouTube channel Science Academy. Meiosis is a fundamental biological process essential for sexual reproduction in eukaryotic organisms. A compassing two consecutive divisions that result in the formation of gametes, sperms and eggs with half the chromosome number of parent cells. This reduction in chromosome number is crucial for maintaining the correct ploidy, cross generations and ensuring genetic diversity. There are two types of cell division processes, mitosis and meiosis. The simpler one is mitosis which produces two identical cells with exactly the same genetic information. You can think of them as clones of each other. The other process, meiosis, is a much more complicated process creating not two but four cells with only half the number of chromosomes and crucially all genetically different from each other. Both mitosis and meiosis include the same phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. Except in meiosis, they are happened twice, so they are usually referred to as 1 and 2. The process of meiosis is highly orchestrated and consists of several distinct stages. Prophase 1, Metaphase 1, Anaphase 1, Telophase 1, Cytokinesis 1, followed by Prophase 2, Metaphase 2, Anaphase 2, Telophase 2, Cytokinesis 2. Each stage plays a specific role in ensuring the proper segregation of genetic material and the generation of genetically unique gametes. The easiest way to remember these phase names is to remember IPMAT, interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So let's look at meiosis in more detail. As always, cellular divisions start with a process called DNA replication. This involves making two identical copies of the original DNA molecule. The cell ends up temporarily with double the number of chromosomes. In prophase 1, the duplicated chromosomes joins up with a pair from the other parent. So the mother's pair bind with the father pair, forming a group of two chromosomes called homologous chromosomes. As each chromosome is lined up next to its partner pair, one chromatid from each side gets entangled with the corresponding chromatid from the other side. This is called crossing over. During this brief period, the two chromatids swap certain section of DNA. This is called recombination. The sections that they trade correspond to the same location so that each chromatid retains the correct number of genes. Recombination is really important because it creates variety. The new cells are not identical to their parents and they also are different to one another as well. There are new genetic combinations. In fact, that's the whole point of sexual reproduction to increase genetic variability. Each chromatid is now different and as each one will end up in a separate gamete, it means each sex cell is genetically different from all others. This explains why brothers and sisters are different despite having the same parents. Only identical twins have the same genetic makeup as they both originated from the exact same egg and sperm. Now back to the meiosis. Next one. During metaphase, homologous chromosomes pair aligned at the metaphase plate connected to spindle fibers at their centromere. Unlike mitosis where chromosomes align individually, homologous pair aligns side by side during metaphase 1. Anaphase 1 follows where homologous chromosomes separate and move to opposite poles of cells pulled by spindle fibers attached to centromere. This separation ensures that each resulting cell receive only one member of each homologous pair. Telophase 1 and cytokinesis 1 complete the first division of meiosis resulting into haploid daughter cells each containing half the original chromosome's number but consisting of duplicate chromatids. We start with our recombined daughter cells, each still with 46 chromosomes, but sperm and egg cells only have 23 chromosomes, so we need to cut these cells in half. The second division, meiosis 2, is similar to mitosis, but occurs in haploid cells. Prophase 2 involves the reformation of the nuclear envelope and the condensation of chromosomes, followed by metaphase 2, where chromosomes align at the metaphase plate. Anaphase 2 sees the separation of sister chromatids which move towards opposite poles of cells facilitated by spindle fibers attached
attached to centromere, telophase 2 and cytokinesis 2 concludes meiosis, resulting in four haploid daughter cells, each with unique combination of genetic material due to independent assortment of chromosomes and crossing over during prophase 1. The end of meiosis gives us four different sex cells, each with only 23 chromosomes. Overall, meiosis is a complex and tightly regulated process, crucial for sexual reproduction and genetic diversity. Errors during meiosis can lead to chromosomal abnormalities such as Down syndrome and infertility. Understanding the intricacies of meiosis, enhancing our knowledge of genetic evolution and the transmission of hereditary traits across generations. Thanks for watching my video and also like and subscribe my channel.